Former National Youth Service NYS graduates, often known as Green Bombers, are becoming increasingly tense as it becomes clear that two different groups are fighting over the opportunity to recruit supporters for President Emerson Unengogwa's re-election attempt in 2023. This comes as a splinter faction led by Tikaona Zambaru vowed to physically attack feared Central Intelligence Organization CIO agents and police personnel who were said to be plotting ZANU-PF's election defeat in the plebiscites on August 23rd. The group, which goes by the name of National Youth Service Graduates Association NYSGA Trust, is now visiting farms to collect money for a presidential star event they're organizing in July. Zimbaru said the mobilization concept employed by the CIO affiliated Forever Associates of Zimbabwe FAZ was stolen from his organization during a recent meeting at Banquet Sports Club. Before criticizing several spy agents and police officers and labeling them unpatriotic. Once Zimbaru's threats were published on NewZimbabwe.com, a different formation under the leadership of Sniska National Commander Benilda Kanda emerged to clarify that there was yet another enigmatic group of rogue former pupils. The group affiliated with Zimbaru is referred to as the Trust, whereas the group with Kanda is known as the Association. Given that ZANU-PF is a unitary party with a people-centered ideology that unites all of its affiliates in harmony for national progress. We believe that the statements made by the organization's leadership, most notably C.D. Tikona Zambaru, during the banquet meeting are inflammatory, divisive, and thus counter-revolutionary. We are aware that two offshoot organizations with nearly the same names are now representing NYS graduates, said Kanda. We make the statement on behalf of the Zimbabwe National Youth Service Graduates Association which should be seen as distinctly different from the trust that recently made contentious statements at Banquet. We were taught to be disciplined and respectful of all state institutions as NYS graduates. We do not support violence and anarchy. As an organization, we do not aim to meddle in the internal affairs of other ZANU-PF affiliates, but instead, to strengthen our own profile and capacities. Resolving our flaws and further adding weight to our strengths, the statement reads. Genuine NYS graduates, according to Kanda, were not subject to Zimbaru's accusations that the government had neglected them and denied them benefits and recognition. We oppose this attitude of entitlement and think that praise should be given only after deserving it. Instead of requesting praise, our goal is to earn it by making noteworthy contributions. Good deeds are self-evident, stated Kanda. The national commander of the organization referred to as contemptuous the idea that the new economic revolution cannot be led by the older generation of revolutionaries because they have blood on their hands. We hold this in low regard. It is disrespectful of the significant sacrifices that generation made. The same blood, that of their fellow citizens and that of the enemy, was used to water the tree of freedom whose fruits we now enjoy. We strongly distance ourselves from such incitements because we are aware of the grave threat they pose to national security and because they constitute intra-party hate speech, including acts of treason. This is especially important given that this election is a turning point and that everyone must work together to win and incapacitate the enemy through the ballot box. We understand that separation among quadres who advocate for unity during the day and practice it at night only serves the interests of the enemy, and we now publicly distance ourselves from the poisonous implications of the statements made at Banquet. Our party, ZANU-PF, and our leader, President CDEED Yumlingogwa, subscribe to the revolutionary servant leadership ethos, and we recognize that such behavior is unseemly and unfitting of trained and well-oriented quadres. As a result, we firmly and unequivocally distance ourselves from the views and reckless ideology currently being advocated and spread by the Zniska Trust. The group reaffirmed its desire to collaborate with other ZANU-PF affiliates, including FAZ, Varakashi 4ED, Men Believe, and Young Women 4ED, to support the party's campaign for a resounding victory in the harmonized elections of 2023.